nasogastric tube feeding. Nasogastric feeding is given to the patient who is not able to take feeds orally. Prepare feed at home with what is available like rice or ragi soup, vegetable and dal soups, milk, water, fruit juice. Strain well before giving the feed. Articles needed. Prepared feed 200 ml, 50 ml syringe 1, 50 ml of clean water, 1 towel, 1 pair clean gloves, a kidney tray and adhesive tape. Greet the patient. Explain the procedure and take consent. Provide privacy. Position the patient with the head of the bed elevated at least 30 to 45 degree angle or raise the chest with extra pillows. Wash hands and wear clean gloves. Place a towel over the patient's chest. First, Check the position of the feeding tube. For this, pinch or fold the end of the tube to prevent entry of air and then open the cap. Attach a 50 ml syringe to the nasogastric tube. Aspirate the stomach contents and verify the position of the tube. Return all aspirated gastric contents to the stomach. If the aspirated fluid is less than 50 ml, feed can be given. After the tube placement is confirmed, remove the syringe and close the end of the feeding tube. Then, remove the piston from the barrel of the syringe. Pinch the feeding tube and attach the barrel of the syringe to the tube. Then, fill the barrel with 25 ml of water and allow it to flow in by gravity by raising the barrel above the level of the patient's head. Pour prepared feed into the barrel when it is 3 fourth empty. Give the feed slowly without air entry. Give a total of 200 ml of prepared feed. Total quantity of feed plus water should not exceed more than 250 ml. Flush the tube with at least 25 ml of plain water. Pinch the tube whenever necessary to prevent air entry. Remove the barrel and close the end of the feeding tube. The tube can be alternatively secured to the cheek to prevent ulceration to the surface of the nose. Keep the same position of the patient for at least 30 minutes to prevent aspiration. Replace the articles, remove gloves, wash hands and document the procedure. Points to remember. If the aspirated fluid is more than 50 ml, skip the feed and return all aspirated gastric contents to the stomach to prevent fluid and electrolyte imbalance. If the patient wants to taste the prepared feed, allow him to taste it. Give feeds too early. Put the patient in a side-lying position for 30 minutes after giving the feed. This is to drain the secretions out of the mouth and to prevent aspiration. Oral cavity is often left uncared for in patients on nasogastric feeding. Always remember to provide mouth care at least three times a day. Watch video on oral care.